to this video is on the barbell bench press and this is a great exercise to strengthen your chest, your shoulders, your upper body, a great compound exercise. So here's how we do it and here's some modifications, right? So what we're going to do is plant our feet. Now, if you have somebody who's a little bit shorter, who can't fully plant their feet without their back hyperextending when they're laying down, you probably want to grab some bumper plates or anything that can elevate their feet so they can get that clear base. Yes, what they can do is put their feet up on the bench, and that's a good solution. However, they will lose some drive and some power and some strength overall. So um, basically, our first goal is always to keep people safe, so that is better than nothing. But ideally, for them to get the most out of the workout, they have those plates. Okay, so once we have that down, I want you to lay right under the bar. And we want to get eyes directly under the bar. We're gonna squeeze the glutes. Okay, you can come up on to your toes. Now, depending on the grip of the barbell bench press, you could go close grip, which I'd say would be kind of having middle finger around where the smooth part enters the knurling. Okay, you could go wide, which I would say would be, uh, depending on the person, you know, like middle finger out here by the rings. And then I would consider a normal pinky on the rings or a little bit closer. Again, it depends on the height of the person. So I'm gonna go pinky on the rings here. From here, I'm going to engage my lats. So I'm gonna think about pushing my armpits to my back pockets and push that chest up. Okay, from here, I'm gonna inhale and then exhale up and roll that bar right over my sternum or my, the middle of my chest. From here, I'm gonna inhale down, tap, and then exhale up. So when I'm doing this, you wanna notice the positioning of the wrists here. So if the wrists are bent, okay, that's gonna put a lot of stress. My wrists need to stay directly, or my, sorry, my hands need to stay straight up directly over my wrists in order to protect them. So I'm down and exhale up. All right, so if you have somebody who has shoulder issues and this is maybe painful for them, um, then sometimes this isn't the best option to use the barbell. So I would recommend uh, maybe grabbing some dumbbells. Now the reason, even though it's a horizontal press and that's normally better for people um, who have shoulder issues, this bar is, uh, it kind of like locks everything in, it locks their joints and their shoulders in that position, which can cause some issues. So um, a modifier if that bothers somebody could be a dumbbell bench press instead, but that's how you do the barbell bench press.